Our game is coming to you live from New Orleans, Louisiana. As the season winds down, this matchup looks like it'll be another great one. Each team preparing all week for this battle as the Browns square off against the Saints. They're lined up for the kickoff, so let's get this game started. He's just about ready to kick this one away. The kick sails out of the end zone. The offense is heading out onto the field for their first drive of the game. Ball on their own 20. Looking upfield, they'll go with a play fake. With the pass, almost picked off. He was in the right place at the right time, and that saved them from giving up a lot of yardage. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Get it, Sean. What's the hard count? Bring it up. New Orleans comes out in a 4 3. Let's go. We're talking about Reed. With a counter play, Robinson is there for the tackle. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22 yard line. Hey, let's go. Orleans comes out in their nickel package. won't get away. And in those situations where the rush is coming fast, you got to make a quick decision. Do I throw it away, try and hit my guy, or concede to the pressure? Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. Six yard line. In my mind, a big advantage to this offensive unit with their running game against a defensive unit that has a tough time stopping the run. Their front seven needs to get more aggressive. They need to get the jump on those offensive tackles and force them to get their inside foot back so they can take off in the middle. The Browns line up in a 4 3. They'll pass on first down. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Frazier is there for the tackle at the 35. Perfect spiral on that pass. This is a guy who can make all the throws out there. He shows a nice touch in the short patterns, can thread it in there against tight coverage, and he can put some air under when he's trying something downfield. Only one man in the backfield. Hoka goes in motion. Going to the right. Moore is there on the stop at the 28 yard line. Vision is so important to these ball carriers. They got to find the hole and get to it before it closes. There's no hole there, and they got to know that too. If you don't have the vision, you just can't find the hole. Malone scans the defense from the gun. With the pass. Is made. It seems like all they have to do is just throw it to you, this guy, and he finds a way to come down with it. Yeah, I was talking to the coach this week, and he told me that he's probably got the best hands in the team. And right there, he just showed us why. Ball on the 17 yard line. Ball on the 17 yard line. And let's go one deep. Watch your eyes. Stay at home. The Browns come out of the nickel pack. Jackson is there for the tackle at the 15 yard line. He takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Ball on the 15 yard line. Ball on the 15 yard line. Let's turn it up, 
The Browns line up in a 4-3. Gives the ball off. What a move. Wooden comes up to make the play. He takes advantage of a little daylight. Picks up three yards. So they have 12 yards to go for a touchdown. The Browns come out on a nickel pass. They give it to the halfback. Great fake. Gets the pass off. Number 58 with the tackle at the nine yard line. Thomas can't get past the marker, so it'll bring up fourth down. Trying to put them ahead with this field goal. The try is good. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it in the end zone every time. This one is fielded by number eight. The defense did a great job on the last series, forcing the offense to go three and out. Ball on their own 20. Orleans comes out in their nickel pack. He gets the carry. The defender goes down. Number 39 is there on the stop at the 26-yard line. Ball on their own 26. The Saints line up in a 4-3. On the carry. Great fake with the pass. Robinson comes up to make the play at the 35. The defense blitzes the corner, but the quarterback got rid of it quickly for a completion and a first down. That was a great play because he saw him coming, remained calm, and threw an accurate pass. It's first and 10. Williams using three linebackers. Spindle. Burrow is there on the stop. Good play by the linebacker to get into the backfield and stop the play for no gain. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. Ball on their own 35. Ball on the 35 yard line. The Saints line up in a 4 3. And they go with the delay. Number 39 comes up to make the play. At the 41 yard line. Third and four. Ball on the 41 yard line. Orleans goes with a four man front. Everything you've got. What's the hard count? On the call. It's loose. The Browns pick it up. They got that one back. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Orleans using three linebackers. A little misdirection. Burrow comes up to make the play at the 47. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Second and seven. Ball on the 47 yard. Arth, the lone back. Come on. Let's go. Tosses it left. 
Myers is there for the tackle at the 48 yard line. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100 percent, and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. Eighth play of this drive. Ball of midfield. The Saints come out in a nickel pack. Gets the pass off. Ooh, nearly picked off. We'll see it. Was his intended target. Number 10 comes into the game for the punt. Number 89 looks like he's ready for the return. Deep in their own territory. They'll bring the blitz. He won't get away. When you think about guys who have a big heart, this guy has to be at the top of the list. He just never lets up out there. Now in second and long after the sack. The Browns come out in a 4 3. For the counter play. Number 97 takes him down at the nine. The defense has the upper hand in cases where you're facing third and long. You got to make sure that you don't force anything into that coverage. Ball on their own nine. Cleveland comes out in their nickel packet. The rush is on. Gets the pass off. Number 58 records the stop at the 17 yard line. You don't run a pattern short of the first down on third down. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made. Cleveland Ball on their own 45. Drive at the 45 yard line. First and 10. Come on. All right, the lone back looking upfield. Number 97 is there for the tackle. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Second and six. After one quarter of play, the score is 3 0. Saints. Cleveland. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Second and six. Ball on the 49 yard line. The Saints line up in a 4 3. Here they come. Gets the pass off. Wilson created problems in the backfield on that one. The offensive line didn't do a good job. They just allowed too much penetration. Third and 11. Ball on the 44 yard line. Here we go. Williams comes out with seven in the secondary. With the pass. Almost in a second. He's back in his zone. He's reading. He sees the quarterback the whole way. And then he gets a chance at an interception. He just didn't finish the play. Good 
good defensive stand there. Now they'll punt it away after a three and out. They down the ball at the 16 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 17 yard line. Cleveland using three linebackers. He'll pass on first down. Looking for something long. He was tipped. And he put the ball exactly where you want to put it. Second and ten. Ball on the 17 yard line. Gets rid of it. Nearly intercepted. Well, they were in his own defense in perfect position to make the play. But they let it get away. Third and ten. Ball on the 17 yard line. The Browns come out in a dime package. Long throw. You know, as a receiver, you have to be aware of so many things. Where the first down marker is, where the defenders are, and where the sideline is as you stretch out to make that catch. Reed was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Number 80 is back to receive this kick. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 43 yard line. The Browns will start the drive at the 43-yard line. First and ten. New Orleans goes with a four-man front. Dropping back pass on first down. On the run. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Ball on their own 43. Ball on the 43 yard line. Only one man back. And off to the tailback. Wilson is there for the tackle on the run. at the 49. You got to keep going to the run. You never know when there's going to be a great blocking ahead of you, allowing for a big one right into the end zone. On third down, they have to get the ball to the 47-yard line for a first. Hands it off to the back. Haynes makes the tackle, but it's beyond the marker, so they pick up a first down. He just barely finds his way past the marker. Ball on the 47-yard line. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Saints line up in a 4-3. Robinson comes up to make the play at the 41-yard line. Morris runs it through the middle again of about six. Second and four. Ball on the 41-yard line. Yeah, you see me. Go low. Go low. The Saints come out in a 4-3. And it off. Number 39 is there for the tackle at the 32. So on the blitz, they can't get to the ball carrier until it's too late. And when you're blitzing to stop the run, the idea is bringing more guys and the offense can block. You also got to cut off the lanes and gaps that he can use to escape out of the backfield. That just didn't happen here. New Orleans comes out in their nickel pack. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. He saw where he wanted to go with it, and before he knew it, the hole was closing up. Second, Second and long level. coming up here. On the 32 yard line. Regular. Well, the lone back. They give it to the handback. 
number 97 is there on the stop at the 22. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Third down here, they have to get it to the 22 for a first down. The Saints with a four-man front. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. The offense stalls, but they do have a chance to put three points on the board. This field goal will tie things up. It's good. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they're thinking touchdown for their next one. This one is handled by number 89. The offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive, going three and out. The Saints will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Cleveland using three linebackers. Gets rid of it. Number 58 is there on the stop at the 40-yard line. Good throw, good catch to move the chains. You know, as a receiver, all you have to do is get a step, and this guy's going to put the ball on you. First ball on their own 40. Ball on the 40-yard line. Cleveland comes out in a 4-3. A little misdirection. Johnson is there for the tackle. When you run the ball in the first half, you're trying to keep the defense on it. But if you're only getting gains like that in the second half, then it puts more pressure on your passing game. Gain of two. Ball on their own 43. Ball on the 43-yard line. Watch him man. They'll go from the I formation. On the ground. Nice play fake. Throws on the move. The 20, the 10, touchdown, Saints. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. attempt is good. That was a nice job of keeping those chains moving and avoiding costly penalty. Now they've got to see if they can keep this momentum that they have established going for the remainder of this game. Just about ready to kick this one off. That one is out of the end zone. They turn their last possession into three points. Let's see what they do with the ball this time around. Ball on their own 20. Receives the handoff. We're going to spot this one at the 18. It's three tackles so far for him today. Second and long. Ball on the 18-yard line. 
The Saints come out of the nickel package. Hey, let's go. With the throw, the wide receiver has it. Myers dishes out punishment at the 26. Number 80 didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. Ball on their own 26. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Saints line up at a 4-3. Rolling out to his right. Dragged down from behind. Great job getting in there to drag the quarterback down, and he picks up the sack. And he'll make two or three plays like that in just about every game. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Number 10 will come in now to punt it away. Number 89, into return. From the 44. Number 89, doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with, getting it to 48. Almost at the two minute mark now. First and ten. Hey, watch the screen. The Browns with a four man front. Aimed it off to the back. Running with purpose. The 20, number 58, comes up to make the play. At the 16, he gets around the corner and nearly takes it the distance. And here's the thing after he got around the end, he had open space to run. You can't give him that kind of running room, and that's exactly what's going to happen. First and we've ten. reached the two minute mark. They'll make this a two possession game if they get into the end zone of this drive. They're just inside the 20. Stiff arm keeps him a good. They're going to spot this one at the eight. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that one. He's had a pretty good first half. I'm expecting him to continue to get the ball quite a bit as this game moves along. Eight is the magic number right now. On the eight yard line. It's on! The Browns line up in a 4 3. Great move to get three. Wooden is there for the tackle at the two. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. and rips and stunts, forcing adjustments along the offensive line. They have to do a better job getting off the ball and controlling the line of scrimmage. They're going to have a tough time whenever they drop back to throw. So a fly to the end zone, drops the interception. As a defender, you don't get too many opportunities like that. When you're able to get two hands on it in your end zone, you're in the perfect position. Heck, you have to make that interception. It's third and goal at the two-yard line. Let's turn it up, Let's get some. Closing in, fires for the end zone. I tell you, he was looking for the big play the other way, and he let that ball go right through his finger. is going to get you a touchdown. So getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't. So the next drive, we'll get him a TD. Campbell in to kick this one off. Perez. 
The kick sails out of the end zone. The Browns need to score quickly as they start this drive. At the 20. Ball on their own 20. Rings out of the gun. They'll pass on first down. Gets rid of it. Incomplete pass. Number eight was the intended receiver on that play. Second for ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Get it, Thor. Get it, get it, get it. New Orleans comes out in their nickel package. The rush is on. Pressure coming with the throw. He finds his man. They're going to spot this one at the 32-yard line. It's his third tackle of the contest. First and 10. The Saints come out in a dime package. Pressure, throwing. Almost picked off. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. Second and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. New side, New Orleans goes with a four-man front. Dropping back with the throw. Ooh, nearly picked off. The defender got in between the ball and the receiver again. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Gets the pass off. Almost intercepted. Boy, none of the defenders can hang on to a pittance at the third. Drop interception on this drive. Yeah, they're all over the field, but they can't come up with the catcher. Number 10 is ready to pump this one away. Number 89 is the deep return man. And he waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 32-yard line. They're trying to move the ball downfield and increase their lead before halftime. Garcia returns to the game after being shaken up earlier. Cleveland goes with a four-man front. Hey, watch the screen. With the throw. Moore is there on the stop at the 44-yard line. Johnny has great touch. Now you say, what's his strength? What does he do best? Well, you can see it right there. It's his accuracy that puts this guy on a whole nother level. Ball on the 44-yard line. Cleveland with six defensive backs. Throws it. The pass ball's incomplete. Number 89 was his intended target. Only one man in the backfield. Gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. Another ball knocked away by the defender. Yep, two big hits back to back. They better have a pretty big supply of ice over there in the sideline. Cleveland looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. And another one is dropped. The intended receiver on the block. He'll try to pin them inside the 10. Uh, 
won't take a chance trying to return this one. Watch this. This guy's going all out trying to save this from being a touchback. He does a heck of a job of getting there to keep it out of the end zone and set his defense up with great field position. They line up in the I formation. On the call, Meyer comes up to make the play at the 16. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Second and five. Ball on the 16 yard line. The Saints come out in a 4 3. Riggs sends a man in motion. Everything you've got. Go, 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 go. Going into halftime, the score is 13 3. Saints. The Browns. He's just about ready to kick this one away. He won't have a chance for a return here. New Orleans already leading in this one. Sends their offensive unit back onto the field. First and ten. Ball. put up some very gaudy numbers defense rushing on first down. Now the defense is getting pushed around a little out there. And the score kind of indicates it. He lost it. The Browns fall on And that's a very rare sight to see him fumble. I don't recall seeing the ball pop out of his hands too often. When you get a lot of carries, big percentages eventually play against you. It's clearly a big momentum shift to begin the making as we take a look at a possible fumble. And they really had no choice but to challenge it because of what it could mean for both teams. I don't know. It's a tough call from seeing that angle. Player was down before the fumble occurred. And that challenge was a good decision as the call is overturned. Well, sometimes the official sees what you see, and sometimes he sees something else. But this time, everyone could see the call had to be changed. Hey, let's go. Alone, using split backs. Here comes the blitz. Throws it. And it's complete. Number 58 comes up to make the play. They'll move the chains with that completion. Yeah, and that was a great recognition by the quarterback, knowing where to go with the football against the blitz and knowing how to get it there. First, First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Saints come out in the bunch formation. Rowing. What the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're fluent. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. Second to ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. How we go, baby? Walk and roll. Eaton is the deep back. They're coming with the blitz. Throws it. Stevens is there on the stop at the 48-yard line. He brought the heat, but it was a good throw by Malone. And that's a heck of a pass. He's got those big old defensive linemen flying right at him, and he showed great composure, making the right read and hitting his receiver. Eaton, the lone setback. For a play. Moore tackles him, but not before the first down is reached. 
And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Ball in midfield. The Browns with a four-man front. Johnson is there for the tackle at the 39-yard line. He's looking pretty good running the ball. And I'll tell you, that sure takes a lot of pressure off your quarterback. Second and two. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Browns come out in a 4-3. Here comes the blitz with the pass. The pass rolls incomplete. Morgan teed off on him and forced the ball out before he could make the reception. Yeah, and he's either going to get in there and knock the ball out, or he's going to knock someone else out. Third and two. Ball on the 39-yard line. Cleveland lines up in a 4-3. With the pass play on third and short. Throws it. Frazier comes up to make the play. At the 14, they convert the first down on that throw. And they ran the perfect play to get those couple of yards. And this is the eighth play of this drive. They're inside the 15. They kicked the field goal the last time they were in the red zone. They'll bring him back at the nine-yard line. So that tackle was his third. He might have rushed that pass a little bit, but he's happy with the result. Yeah, I'd say. The defense was blitzing, so he knew that he had to get it out of there pretty quickly. And he did that connection with his man for a pretty good pickup. Alone with a man in motion. To the halfback. Gamble is there for the tackle. At the six. The defensive tackle surged through the line to bring the runner down. And this is the tenth play of this drive. Ball inside the ten. Out of the shotgun. Fakes the handle for the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Alone looks to be shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. <laughs> Campbell comes in to attempt the point after. The point after is good. And with that right there, they've now scored 17 unanswered points. They just can't seem to stop them. He won't have a chance for a return here. The Browns have their work cut out for them as they take over at the 20. First and 10. The Saints come out in a 4 3. It's the toss to the left. Ames is there for the tackle at the 20 yard line. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Saints come out in a dime package. Gets rid of it. 
Myers brings him down at the 31 yard line. God, he has such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. And that makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. First it's and first ten. and ten. Ball on the so an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. Looking to run it here. Great fake. Takes the throw. Going long. Drops the interception. Deep throw, nearly picked off. When you've got a receiver who wins a lot of jump ball situations, you've got to throw it deep to him. That time, the defender got the better jump. Second and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. The Saints line up in a 4-3 with the pass. Broken up. He tried to float one out there. Myers on the cover. Third and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Good one. The man in motion. They're coming with the blitz. Gets rid of it. The 50. The 40. It looks like it's going to be an interference call. The only question is, against whom? Pass interference. On the offense. Number eight. And that only negates a Still long pass play. Down. Number 26. Looks to be shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. Malone goes back into the game after being injured earlier. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. Drops back with the pass. The pass rolls incomplete. Cleveland fails once again to get the first down, and that's seven times. Yeah, and that's huge for the defense to keep stepping up on third down like that. They're a solid group of guys who make key stops. Number 10 comes into the game for the punt. Number 89 sets up to run back the punt. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 41 yard line. The Ball on their own 41. Drive at the 41 yard line. First and 10. Christian. The Browns line up in a 4-3. Under pressure, launches this one to the left. It's broken up. Missed opportunity right there. him three in the game. They went backward on that one. And that's a very good call by the defensive coordinator. He had a good idea of what was coming, and he called the perfect play to stop it. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Saints line up in a five-receiver set this time. Rosen. And this pass is completed. Strong move. What is there for the tackle at the 40? And they don't pick up nearly enough for the first down, John. I'll tell you, this is such an odd decision. You've got to be able to execute a play with deeper options when you've got third and long. So they'll line up the punt after going three and out. This one goes out of bounds. First Two minutes left in the quarter. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Hold the rope. New Orleans goes with a four-man front. You can't stop me. Play football. I have it off. 
Wilson comes up to make the play at the 41. When your offensive line is getting a good push up front, it's a lot easier to pick up yardage on the ground. Number 26 goes back into the game after being injured earlier. The Saints come out in a nickel package. The rush is on. Incomplete pass. And this guy is so strong, he was able to get that pass away. Third and two. Ball up on the 41 yard line. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. They'll spot this one at the 46. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. Goodwin comes in motion. To carry it. Burrow comes up to make the play at the 47-yard line. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackle. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. The defense lines up in the nickel. Rowing. Broken up. Rick read it perfectly with single coverage, but the ball was tipped away. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. They'll go from the shotgun. Goodwin goes in motion. Drops back with the pass. Almost picked off. Number eight was the one they were trying to get the ball to, but it was there on the cover. Number eighty nine back to return. on the ground. The Saints pick up the fumble. The offense recovers its own fumble. Cleveland using three linebackers. Hand off on the draw. 58 comes up to make the play at the 26 yard line. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry, but there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. Pick up of a bat five. Nickelback in this time. Clinton comes in motion. Rolls right, going long. He made the catch. He completes another pass and is over 200 yards. Ball on the 36 yard line. At the end of three, the score is 20 to three. Saints. Cleveland needs to play a perfect fourth quarter if they're going to make a game here. Ball on the 36 yard line. The Browns come out in a 4 3. 
Going to the air on first down. Throwing. Thrown behind, but caught. Touchdown, Saints. Hello. Looks to be shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. Comes in for the extra point. The point after is good. They have a commanding 24-point lead after that touchdown. This one is handled by number eight. This is one of those situations where they're playing for respect. The game really hasn't gone the way they thought it would, but they have a lot of pride in their team. And I'd expect to see them keep fighting till that final whistle. They'll first and ten. At the 20 -yard line. First and ten. Go low. Go low. Only one man back. Goodwin, the motion man. to make the play at the 20. He tried to pick his way through the middle, but there was no room. Yeah, he was looking for a hole or a gap, but the defensive line sealed everything up. So it's second down and 10 to go. A report now on the injured player the team is indicating it's the type of injury that will take some time to heal, so he is done for the day. Closing in. Wrapped up and brought down. Ferguson did a great job breaking through, getting there for the set. Yeah, it's a great play because he had to slip the blocker, then use his speed to get back to it. And he just made it look simple. Third and 15. Ball on the 15 yard line. Garrett, the lone back, drops back, looking for something long. This one falls incomplete. If you're going to miss, it's better to miss long. You put it up there where your receiver is going to go get it. Now, if you miss, it'll generally end up in incompletion. And that's a heck of a lot better than missing short, giving the defense a shot at the interception. Wesley was the intended receiver on that play. Number 10 will come in now to punt it away. Number 89 sets up, waiting for the punt. From the 47-yard line, number 89 doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with, getting it to the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. Hey, let's go. It's a blitz. Throws it. Hits his receiver. Number 58 comes up to make the play at the 28. He's always very composed in the pocket, John. Nothing rattles him. Yeah, when you talk about guys that can handle the pressure and find the open receiver, this is the kind of guy you're talking about. First and 10. The Saints come out with three receivers tight. Rowing. Batted down at the line of scrimmage. Here's what happened. The quarterback just didn't have a throwing lane for his pass. And when he let that one go, the lineman got his hand up and he batted it down at the line. Pressure coming. Going deep. Ooh, nearly picked off. And it will be an interference call on that play. The only question was if the defender or the receiver. 
That's a costly penalty, but he prevented the touchdown. In this league, you don't want to give the offense first and goal from the one-yard line because even the worst team can get in from there. The goal from the I formation. Looking for the goal line. Touchdown, Saints. Now watch, this is the thing. He looks like one of those downhill runners. And he shows some power. And the power gets him right into the end zone. Saints pour it on with another score. Campbell will be kicking off. The kick sails out of the end zone. It sure doesn't look like they're going to be able to come back in this one. But it's an issue of pride. They want to prove that they're better than they've played so far. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Watch your back! Watch your eyes! The Saints line up in a 4-3. Ames is there for the tackle at the 17-yard line. They've had some success, but they were hoping for a little more out of their running game today. Second and 13. Ball on the 17-yard line. Rick from the shotgun. Gets the pass off, and he makes the grab. Number 26, belts him hard at the 24-yard line. Martin makes the catch, but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. It's third down and six to go. Let's go! Keep the throttle down. Williams comes out in their nickel package. Throws it. This one falls incomplete. Good call by the defense as they set the corner on a blitz. He just had too much pressure in his face to see anything, and he threw one out there. Lucky for him, it wasn't picked off. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. And he signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 42 yard line. New Orleans will start the drive at the 33 yard line. First and 10. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. With the pass, he finds his man. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. Back to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. It's second down and a long way to go. The Browns line up in a 4-3. Named off to the tailback. Number 98 comes up to make the play. At the 36, he takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Third so they dug eight. themselves into a Ball hole here, a long third down line. situation. The Browns come out in a dime package. Dropping back, steps up into the pocket, throws this one away. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. Off 
offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 24 yard line. The Browns it's first will and start the drive at the 24-yard line. First and ten. The Saints with a four-man front. Butler is there on the stop at the 25-yard line. The blocking just wasn't there on the outside. So it's second and ten. All on the 25-yard line. The Saints line up at a 4-3. Rowan, Haynes comes up to make the play at the 28. Watch this. He stands him up, and he puts him right down. That's stopping in your tracks right there. rid of it. They're going to spot this one at the 46. He wraps up the ball carrier and his tackle total is now four. So he adds another tackle and now has six. Second and eight. Ball on the 48 yard line. The Saints come out of the nickel package. Pressure with the throw. And he hits his car. Garcia gets the reception. A seven yard gain. It'll be third down now, upcoming. On third down, they have to get the ball to the 44 to convert. New Orleans lines up in a 4-3. Throwing. He was tipped. Pretty good play call on that one. Everything happened just as it's brought up. Just couldn't hang on to it. Number 89. Gets set for the return as we take a look at his numbers. Number 10 is trying to pin their offense inside the five. And he chooses not to return this one. Ball on their own nine. Ball on the nine yard line. Here we go, baby. Let's go. Be good. Hand it off. Ball loose. The Browns get it. Johnny fumbled, and that's something we've seen from him before quite often. Yeah, he's one of those guys that gets the ball stripped way too much. He never seems to improve in that area. First Almost at the two minute mark now. And Timothy looks to determine whether the ball came out before the knee was down. The key thing here is that the ball started to come out before his knee was down. If it did, then it should be counted as a fumble. Takes advantage of the option to challenge the play, and it pays off. You bet. They just went from a bad play to a good one. And that does a lot for your team. Now let's see if they can take advantage of it. 
Cleveland goes with a four-man front. To carry it. Number 58 is there on the stop at the 16. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. Two-minute warning coming up. And we've reached the two-minute mark. Cleveland comes out in a 4-3. Clinton, the man in motion. Give it to the halfback. Morgan is there for the tackle at the 17-yard line. Well, that didn't cut it. Now they're looking at fourth down. And they made the decision to just keep it on the ground. Take time off the clock, not force anything. This is a luxury of being ahead. Pollard is ready to punt this one away. Number 80 lines up deep for the punt return. his intended target. Number 39 with the coverage. Second and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Here we go. Orleans comes out in a 4-3. Here I go! Hey, soft, man. A week, a week. Let's go, let's go! Under pressure, gets the pass off. Here's an open. The 10. Touchdown, Browns. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. The point after is good. The Browns still find themselves in a very deep hole. They're going to need a lot of luck to even have a chance at coming back in this one. have time to kick it away and go on defense so they're going for the onside kick here we go and they don't recover breaks away from the tackle they have this game pretty well in hand this is one of those spots where you might want to get some of your backups some playing time first and ten ball on the 36 yard line fresh go Give it to the halfback. Frazier is there on the stop. Eaton eclipses the 100 yard mark on that carry. Second and two. Ball on the 28 yard line. We're talking about Green. Pull back hand off. Number 58 is there for the tackle. So a gain of about one. Right. 
On third down, they need to get it to the 26 to convert. Strong with a man in motion. Hand it off to the fullback. Warfield comes up to make the play at the 23-yard line. Good pickup on the ground as they convert for the first. Here's the thing. They were looking run and brought the blitz. But the back just used his vision and elusiveness to avoid him and get past the marker. It's first and ten. He gets the count. Morgan is there on the stop at the 20-yard line. So a pickup of maybe three. So this could be the last play of the game. That'll wrap this one up, and the final score is Orleans 34, Cleveland 10. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.